Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Ignite Kids Does Sunday. We are on week two of Disciple Me. Hope you enjoyed last week's. Uh, and we're thinking about all the different things that some of Jesus' disciples got up to after he went back up into heaven. So you'll find them, all the stories, in Acts in the Bible, which is in the New Testament, if you want to look them up. Today, we're thinking about a couple who didn't really do the right thing, but actually, it's still worth looking at these stories. Before we think about the story and before we have our game later on, let's have a song. So let's do God is Good. Is it weird? Well, it's weirdish. What's it? 
Um, yes, so yes. in in your little in your blue cup, I've got a yellow cup. It doesn't matter the colour of the cup. Mixed uh, up colour counters. Mixed up colour like little hammer beads, so they're like super duper small, making it that much harder. And then you've got the colours uh -huh. represented by the hammer beads uh -huh. stood in front of you. So I've got purple, green, pink, yellow, blue, orange, and the object is to get um, the right colour bead <gasps> in the right colour pot. The quicker colour sorting, colour sorting. Oh, I'm very good at organising this. This okay. could be my game. This, I th well, I think it could be your game um, because grabbing them is not going to be easy. But I'm going to just pull them. Into I'm going to tip them into my hand. Um, so it's literally okay. a race. There's there's three of each colour, so it's not going to last too long. Okay. So we'll tip them in our hands. Okay, and then I'll say go. Okay. Hang on, they're in my fingers. Ready? Yeah. Steady. Go. My pink one and my purple one. And I've also got a blue. Why have I got blue ones in there? What's going on there? Okay, I can grab them. <clears throat> right. So, are they in the correct receptacles? Three pink, three pink, three orange, three orange, three blue, three blue, three yellow, three yellow, three purple, three, three green. green. Well done. Well, I, I know. I've got <laughs> cream up. I've got cream on my hands, and they kept sticking to my hands. Anyway. Anyway, well and done. So thank you. I am a good sorter. You are a good I sorter. I am a good sorter. Uh, have a go. It doesn't have to be beads. It could be anything. It's not a tricky challenge. It's just, it's just fiddly. It's fiddly. It's fiddly. So anyone it's fiddly can do it. Challenge. Anybody can do it. Challenge your mum and young, dad or, or your sisters and young brothers. Young and old. Exactly. Challenge the people in your house. Just not pets. not pets. Not pets. Yeah. So have you even got... Yeah. So uh, just have a go and see if you can do one of Jen's weirdish challenges for this week. And we'll see you next week with a new one. Bye. morning guys it's my turn to tell you the story today um, and today's story is about a couple called Ananias and Sapphira. Now Ananias and Sapphira had a big big field they had lots of land and they were going to sell it and give the money to the disciples so they sold it and they got a lot of money for it but they said hang on a minute there's a lot of money here we could keep half for ourselves and give half to the disciples that way we're still giving them money so that's what they did. So they went to, Ananias went to Peter. Peter said, is this all the money from your field? And he said, yes. Peter said, are you sure? And he went, positive. And then he died. Ananias died. So the disciples carried them off and buried them. And then a few hours later, so quite quickly, Sapphira came and said, have you seen my husband? Peter said, I have seen him. Oh, by the way, have you, did you give me all the money from the field? And Sapphira said, of course we did. And he said, are you sure? And she said, of course I'm sure we gave you all the money. And Peter said, because you have lied, you will die just like your husband has, and you will be buried next to him. And then she died. Oh, so the moral of the story is, don't lie to God. Hmm. An interesting story to get you thinking. I wonder if you guys have heard that story before. Hmm. I'm going to let, let you guys think, think about that one and then maybe Jem will think about it a bit more with you a bit later on. So, let, so let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for the Bible. We thank you that there are lots of interesting stories in there, some that are easy to understand and some that are tricky. I pray that you help the boys and girls to learn something about you from this story and to know that you love them. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. What a great story Robin told us earlier on. Thank you so much. But it is a little bit confusing, isn't it? It's a bit of a strange story to think of somebody giving something away, uh, but then still getting punished for it. But you see, the reason they got punished was because they made a promise, didn't they? They promised that they would do something, 
and then they didn't keep their promise. And we should always keep our promises. There's always a consequence of our actions. So when we say we're going to do something and we don't do it, there is always a consequence. Um, it could be that we might say to our parents, oh, mum and dad, I'll clean my room. And then you don't clean your room. And the consequence is maybe then, apart from the fact that you've got a messy room, maybe that then your mum and dad might say, oh, well, you're not going out to play today. All right, so there's always a consequence of all of our actions. So remember that today. Uh, remember that uh, there is always something that is a consequence when we do something wrong. All right? So um, I hope you've enjoyed what we've done today. Uh, I'm going to pray now, and then we'll think about what's coming ahead this week. So let's wiggle our fingers. Ready? One, two. Three. Lord God, we thank you for today's story, even though it's really, really hard to think about. But God, help us to remember that whenever we do something wrong, or whenever we're mean to somebody, there's always a consequence of our actions. Help us to remember that. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, so we've got Ignite Life Group on again tomorrow night at 6.30. We're continuing with our big cues. And then on Friday, we're continuing with our brand new theme, Armour of God. So if you want to bring your friends along to that, then that would be brilliant. That's from 6.30 Ignite Extra, second week of Armour of God. Hope you have a fantastic week at school and we will see you next week. Bye.